Yo, what's up family welcome back to my youtube channel if you're watching for the first time kindly hit that subscribe button welcome to spot news with the boy from ojo now the world cup kicked off a while ago and we've had a lot of exciting games so far and just yesterday we had more exciting games now we got to see the likes of germany take on japan now germany actually lost that game germany actually lost um by I think the, the game ended 2-1 or so and it's it's kind of mind-blowing because no one actually saw German like the Germans losing to Japan you know I feel like we are in for a lot of surprises in this World Cup we've seen the likes of Argentina so far an upset you know we've seen, we've, seen, we've seen the likes of Saudi Arabia go on you know to defeat the almighty Argentina the favorite to win the World Cup so um, I feel like we are in for a lot of surprises and, and a lot of upsets. So it's it's crazy. I actually thought the Germans would go out there and give them like four or five. Honestly, that was what I was expecting. I know the crazy part of the whole thing. Argentina and Germany actually scored the first goals. They actually scored by penalties. You know, so it's 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 mind blowing. Now we got to see Spain take on Costa Rica. Um. That game was, um, should I say, one-sided. Total domination by Spain. The game ended 7-0. <laughs> Kwe. <laughs> the guys would say, Kwe, Charlie. 7-0, that was, that was crazy. Total domination by Spain. Um, they dominated Costa Rica in every aspect of the game. And I feel like, I don't even want to get ahead of myself. Um... Spain might go out, go on, go out there and actually lose their next game. So the the way the World Cup is right now is, it's like the Premier League. No little teams, no little countries. Anybody can win anybody, and that's what makes it exciting. You know, we don't want to go out there and see the big teams um, dominate and win all the time. So I feel like the, this World Cup is really going to be exciting. Now we've got to see the likes of Morocco take on Croatia. That game ended in a tie. New, new. And of course, Belgium, Canada. Belgium actually won by one goal to new. So like I said, um, this will probably be one of the most exciting World Cups. We've got some really interesting matches coming up tomorrow. Um, we've got the likes of... Bra I think Brazil are playing tomorrow. Uruguay actually playing tomorrow and of course portugal ghana i feel like portugal ghana is going to be one of the most exciting games in the group stage um now i'm going to start with ronaldo even though i've said this before yeah i know ronaldo um is I, I, let me just put it this way he has a lot of people doubting him right now he has a lot of people um, doubting him at the moment. Um, he went back and forth with Manchester United, departed Wiz, and now he's left without the team. So it's just so much going on um, in Ronaldo's life right now. And like I said, a lot of people doubting him at the moment, so he would probably want to prove them wrong. So we've got this hungry Ronaldo who is out there. Um, wanting to prove the whole world, like all oh, eyes are Ronaldo. Y'all know how how it, it is when it comes to Ronaldo. If any little thing about Ronaldo goes viral, so Ronaldo definitely knows this, and I feel like he's really prepared for tomorrow's game. Now let's even leave Ronaldo, bro. Check out Portugal squad: Juan Felix, Cancelo, Dalot, um, who else? Uh, <laughs> Pepe, Bernardo Silva, they got Yao Moutinho, they got Ruben Neves, they got like, bro, Portugal ain't playing no games, honestly. Portu like, Portugal squad is like, yo, come on. That squad, that squad is really, really good. Now we got Ghana, of course. Ghana will come in as the underdog. Now there's something about the underdogs, right? Um, I feel like I should have made a separate, I would definitely make a separate video for you know this Ghana versus Portugal you know I'll definitely give my review ahead of the game well Ghana on their end Ghana on their end will come in as the underdog of course um they would want to I mean they've seen so many upset they've seen the likes of Saudi Arabia go on and defeat Argentina they've seen Germany actually lose to 
Japan. So I feel like Ghana would have this confidence, you know, um, to go out there and give in their best. So I feel like um, Ghana will really go out there and give in their best. Why Portugal themselves also saw the likes of Argentina and Germany lose, so they wouldn't want to underestimate Ghana in any way. Honestly, and I, I, I don't think I don't think Portugal will make that mistake. I feel like you Portugal will go out there and actually give in their best. So I feel like that game is gonna be one of the most exciting games in the group stage. So um hit that subscribe button if you're watching for the first time. I'll keep you all updated. Stay tuned, stay blessed, love.